Hello, hello. So, back again. This time we're going to be looking at these um, Planeswalker decks. That's what we're on about. Planeswalker decks. Lost my thought there. So, these decks here. Um, what I'm going to do is just open them up because I still need that buzz tonight. And two things. I'm going to have a couple of games on Arena. I think that these have an Arena code in them. They uh, include a booster and a digital deck code. See? So, um, as you can see there. So, I want to go to the digital deck codes for these. Um, so. Here's the. Here's how they come packaged. And I don't know how or where the digital deck is. Um. Be careful that it doesn't drop out, I guess. Um, right. So that's my deck. What's this here? A couple of uh, cards explaining to play. There's the one pack. These are game game cards. You wanna pop that out of the Liliana Death Mage card? So the code has to be in here somewhere. Okay. Magic Arena. So there's a... Uh Standard bear, which is in there. Um, there's, a, there's a booklet before you play. Booklet. So I'm guessing it must be on the back of this card. So let's. Um, well, there's no. Um, there's no seal break on this. How do you break open a pack? I'll just have to do it from the top. It's definitely not on that plastic bit, or on the other plastic bit. Um, just be very careful. Wizards sort the packaging out. So let me uh I've got Gander and it's on the back of there, so it's on the back of this card guys at the back of the packet. So there is the deck. There's Liliana going back there. Oosh. And we can put rubbish to the side. A little booklet we can keep in there. One box done. Oh, it's quite nice art on the back though, I don't say. So, by the time I've done this, 
I will have five packs. So let's get through these a bit quicker. Now we know what we're doing, what we're looking for, how we're getting them. Part of me just wants to rip the boxes apart. The other part says I'm gonna have to clean it up laterwards. So laterwards, afterwards, you know what I mean. Okay, so that'll be my deck. Two down, three to go. Now, this deck is the one I'm most, you know, not as interested about, other than the fact that he's quite a decent. Look, he's quite decent. Put plus one, plus one. So when you plus one, one you can plus one, plus one counter or up to one target. This creature gains vigilance at an uh, extra turn. But there's also if there's also another card in uh, 2021 that says if you put a plus one uh, counter on a, a target creature, then you get plus one, plus one. You get plus one, plus one, plus ones. So that would be a nice um, nice little combo. Oh, look at that. That's just come out of there. That pack is... Hey, come on. That is bad. That, that is shocking. Um, I hope they made up for a decent pack. That was shocking. Come on, wasn't it? You saw that. These cards I'll be playing, I'll put them in my decks and stuff because I've got another box to go um, in my investment box because fr you know, from now on I buy, you know, I want to buy something, I buy two of them other than the expensive, really expensive stuff like. Um, Double Masters. Um, I'll be buying so plus one plus one. <laughs> so uh, if I get a plus one plus one plus ones, um, now my thoughts are, you know, these cards in these packs. My thoughts are they're probably not as good as the ones that are in the. What do they call it? The booster boxes. Surely the cards must come from different bins. These packs have got codes and stuff on them. Um, 
So there must be something that uh, I can see my packs. There must be something that differentiates these cards. I think. What do you think? Do you get a feeling that they got worse cards in the um the booster? Um boxes or the planes or decks. I think I think normal packs are different to the booster boxes. I think they put slightly better ones in the booster boxes because they know that you've invested money in the booster box compared to, you know, these. Just, yeah, so you bought that. Why should, why should you be so lucky as to pull an Ugin from one of these, you know? I think that's, that's my thought anyway. Let us know what you think in the uh, comments. I definitely think that they need to sort this uh, shrink wrap stuff out. Okay, so there's my arena code. So I'll be able to add them now to my um, online decks to play in arena but this is what I'm going to be looking at what do you think we'll pull from it what do you think do you think we'll get anything decent let me know in the comments so I see what you guess what we'll get Okay, so if you're ready, let's get stuck in. Five packs. Um, and if I say we've had it, means that we've had it in um, one of the other packs from the booster boxes or the boner at the. The bundle. Could have been a nice free code on there. But there's a crap card. And we get a, a land. There you go. That goes in my lander box. We have this one. Go check out the other video if you want to see the cards that we've had. Had that one. I think we had most of them now. That, uh, in the comments and the comments, that one. Well, Sanguine. Vitalize. That's a good card. Gain through life and draw a card. Special Dragon Fire. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. There we are. So there's one of the new uh, shrine cards. Good card. Die Fleet Warmonger, that, and Animal Sanctuary, and no way, no way, what did I just say? No! <laughs> Gee whiz! That is crazy, that is crazy, that is crazy, these are going to be, I always said that, it, you know, I, oh my god, I always said you've got to be really lucky to, um, <laughs> These packets are really lucky. Oh my gosh. The other ones are crap. I, I'm going to leave them. I, I, should, I, should, I, come away, should I open them? No. I'll, I'll carry on opening. You never know. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. That is beyond. I mean, where's my cards? Where's my cards? Where's my cards from earlier? So in the booster box. Um, in the booster box, we had them in. We had these in the bundle box. Okay. We had these in the bundle box. Um, Not too bad. But. You know, in the other one, we did have Grim Tutor in the booster box. Red Ugin as well, but we had Grim Tutor in the booster box. 
But this is alternative art. And that's got me thinking, oh my gosh, look at it. I'm going to quick check um, MTG Goldfish. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sneezing. This is a Core 21 promo. It's not foil, is it? Oh my, it is! Oh, it's the foil! It's a foil! It's a, it's a foil promo. Oh my gosh! Um. Oh my gosh. But it's not the promo, is it? It's the, it's the thingy card. Um. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. It is. It is. It, it is the promo card. It's now Master Edition Three. It's the core set. No. Well, the, the the standard is the standard one is thirty five thirty five quid. Um, but this is the the promo, and it's. I don't know. Um, lost for words. Lost. <sighs> Corset twenty twenty one. Corset twenty twenty one. Promos. Good and two to start a pack. Nineteen ninety nine. I'm 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 gobsmacked. It's a shame they didn't have um, MTG code specifically for the this pack as well. It's just the deck. That's good. In oh my God, that is that is amazing. I've got it. I've got. I have to. I have to bag this up. I have to. Um, okay, let's take my Thrawn Dynamos out of this, this one. Oh, Thrawn Dynamo is a little bit expensive, by the way. It is, there are four, for three mana, but, you know, you can be quite a handy card to play if you are a mana hungry deck. Okay, so that is there. This is going in there sideways like a banana. Well, you know what I mean. That is going, that is a little sleeve. And my gosh, did you sit? I just can't believe we, I was one minute I was dissing that, next minute. I got, look at it, look at that, it's a beauty, look at the foil, look at the sparkle. You can see it's sparkling even though it's, even though it's in one of these. And you, that's, that normally never happens. Um, an animal sanctuary as well. Which is, you know. I can't believe it. I, I just cannot believe it. That is a crazy, crazy, crazy. I'd love to know which box that was from. I have no idea. Uh, I just need a rest. I just need a rest. But you know, <coughs> this is a this is, this is a the tribal land. You know, you can be, tap and add one or pay two and tap and put a plus one plus one counter on a target bird, cat, dog, ox, or snake.
which is like um, you know pretty 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 cool okay I just cannot I just can't get over that Next pack. And this pack we'll pull. Uh, what should we pull? I don't know. I can't believe for one minute I was thinking, ah, oh, that's rubbish. It's not going to happen. I mean, I'd like to get Chromatic Orrery at some point or, or to Fairy, but that's just asking for. Uh, you know, we don't get that luck. We get a knight and we get a forest. So, there's that. That, 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 that. And dub, step, Italian, frost breath. This is weird. Nothing there. It's, it's just a plain card. Alternate art, but it's really good. Valora Steed. Rewind. That's a good card. So, costs for instant uh, counter target spell. Untap uh, and untap up to two, four lands. lands. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the ones you tap. So, you could play this as a way of. Um, changing your, your mana. Conclave Mentor is a good card. Wildwood Scourge is good. That, that, look, at that, look what it does with the plus one plus ones. Um, this is definitely worth an, another another gander. Um, And the card is uh, Maze Mind Tome. Maze Mind Tome. I don't know what that is. So, cost two, tap it, put a page counter on the Tome Scry one. I'll pay two and tap, put a page counter on Maze Mind Tome and draw a card. When there are four or more counters on it, exile it. If you do, you gain four life. I still can't believe we just drew that. That's a good card as well. Destroy target creature or planeswalker for five. Bargain. Hop on watchdog. Good one. Eliminate another one. But this time, it's got the uh, crit minus three or less. Even Gaga Master. Fierce Empath. Ruined Halo. Ruined Halo. As it enters battlefield, choose a card name. You have protection from that chosen card name. a rather specific thing. Two 
Two more packs. Two more packs. Come on. Oh, this is a bit loose. Let's, uh... Oh, they, 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 they're all a little bit loose compared to the other decks. Um, compared to the other packs that we opened. Um, bang, bang. We have that and a knight. That's shocking. I still can't get over that Grim Tutor. I don't know. That one. Awesome. These are lovely coloured cards. These are really make it, you know? Strike. Right. Middle form. Liliana's devotee. Oh my gosh! We've got another massacre worm! This is crazy! This is crazy! Oh my gosh, and a, a full falconer. That is crazy. That is, that is, this worm, look at this. Look at, look at what it does. Six, five for six. When it enters the battlefield, your opponents get minus two, minus two until the end of turn. When a creature an opponent control dies, the player loses two life. That is amazing. Not necessarily on your turn. Is there? I don't know. Put in the comments, but that's another good card. And we did have the uh, other one. So. Island and a knight. Titanic growth. It's pretty handy. Plus floor, plus floor for two. Feather in. Stage short sword. There's the other. Garrick Scorbun. We've had that one. Angelic Ascension. Instant for two. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Controller creates a 4 4. We've had that. Avian Gargle Master. And. Gadrak. Gadrak. Well. It's not a super duper one. But I'll take the hit. Gadrak. I don't think I've got, I've got it, so that's good. 5-4 for th 3. With fly in. Can't attack unless you control 4 more artifacts. The beginning of the end step. Create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. Handy. So... Let's get rid of this shrapnel, because that's what it is. The shrapnel goes on to there. So we've had some nice stuff. We did get a couple of, uh, what do we call them? Shrines. I think we had a shrine, or was it a shrine? We had one or two. But, crikey, that is... Um... From five packs, I mean, foil, you know, a foil, standard foil, quite nice, but Grim and Tudor. Phenomenal. So, here's a quick one for you. 
this is what I'm going to end the, uh, the show on. Which one would you do? Would you do the standard Grim Tutor? Or the alternate art? Let us know in the comments. And um, yeah. What a drop. So, thanks for coming. Catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share on a video. And yeah, I told you they were lucky. Oh, crazy.